First on Fox tonight, we begin with a disturbing and violent story involving a Nashville firefighter. It's all caught on video. Christopher Calvin is facing aggravated assault charges tonight and possible disciplinary action as well from the fire department for allegedly hitting a security guard at a downtown bar with a bottle. Fox 17 Sky Arnold has the story. Watch the bouncer's head right here. Boom. Doug Green says that punch couldn't have been more unexpected. And what happened next? I got hit with the bottle. Was an even bigger shock. It seems like the bottle broke on my tooth and then went into uh, my lip, top and bottom, and went all the way through. Green says both attacks came from this man, Coley Calvin. He says moments later, Calvin's brother, off-duty Nashville firefighter Christopher Calvin, jumped in too. Uh, grabs a bottle from inside, runs out into the alleyway, and hits my security guard in the back of the head with it. Bar security eventually stopped both brothers, who are now facing aggravated assault charges. And that may just be the beginning for Christopher Calvin. The Nashville Fire Department is now investigating to determine if there's a need for further disciplinary action against the five-year veteran. While we regret this incident has occurred, it is expected that each employee conduct themselves professionally both on and off duty, said the department in a statement. We've not been told what type of discipline the department may be considering, but Green says it should be serious. Right here you can actually see that I was patting the guy on the shoulder. As he says, both brothers acted peaceful as they were leaving the bar right up until here. Especially using a weapon, I don't think they should ever be allowed to work for Metro in, at all. Now here's the door that they were trying to exit uh, those two gentlemen out of uh, early Sunday morning. And we should mention we tried to reach Christopher Calvin for comment on this story. We were unable to reach him. We're told he works out of a Madison Fire Department and actually requested time off this week before the incident occurred. And uh, that contributed to us not being able to reach him. The department also tells me they expect him to return to work sometime after the end of this week. We should also mention that Doug Green is actually the husband of Fox 17's Stacy McLeod. We're live downtown Sky Arnold, Fox 17 News.